Today, let's break down two popular CRMs, HubSpot and Adio. Now, if you haven't heard of Adio, they're one of the new CRM startups trying to take down incumbents like HubSpot and Salesforce. In this video, we'll break down exactly how HubSpot and Adio compare, where each of these tools are better, and who should opt for each one. But first, let's introduce each of the CRMs we're about to talk about. So HubSpot was founded in 2006, originally as an inbound marketing tool. And it wasn't until 2014 that they launched their CRM. Today, they're a $25 billion market cap public company with over 200,000 customers. And HubSpot CRM is now one of the most widely used CRMs in the world, uh, trailing only potentially Salesforce. Adio was founded in 2019, and they are now one of the hot up-and-comers when it comes to modern CRMs, basically up-and-coming startups that are trying to take on established players like HubSpot and Salesforce. Throughout this video, we'll get into the details of the differences between HubSpot and Adio, but first let's start by talking high level, what makes them unique. HubSpot is your classic CRM. It's been around forever, it's startup friendly, and things more or less work the way you'd expect them to. You can basically rely on HubSpot to have pretty much every feature that you could possibly want or need. And although it might not be your favorite piece of software you use during the day, it's gonna get the job done. Additionally, because of that founding story I talked about earlier, HubSpot offers an entire marketing suite that integrates well with the rest of their CRM. And so in addition to having every CRM feature you can need, as you scale, HubSpot lets you take advantage of many other pieces of the product as well. Adio, on the other hand, is the hot new kid on the block. It's sleek, it's modern, it feels much more like a prosumer tool, something like a Airtable or dare I say, linear. And aside from that modern UI, Adio is organized around a core concept of flexibility. And so unlike HubSpot, where things mainly just come out of the box, Adio, you have to customize a bit more, but you can really change it to your liking. In general, Adio feels a lot more spreadsheet-like. You could even go as far as saying that Adio is a mix of HubSpot and Airtable. Overall, HubSpot gives you the benefits of an established player. It has all the features you need and more or less things come out of the box the way you want. Adio, on the other hand, has the benefits of a fresh new startup where things are gonna be cooler, sleeker, easier to use, but potentially more limited as it just hasn't been around in market nearly as long. All right, now that you have a high level overview of their differences, let's dig into the details. So as you start comparing HubSpot and Adio, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the difference in their UI. So HubSpot has a fairly solid UI, especially considering their product was founded in 2006, uh, but today it's probably not winning any awards. With HubSpot, you're gonna have to get used to slower loading times, drawers, and overloaded pages that look like this. Adio shines with a sleek modern UI that by comparison is delightful to use. Adio feels fresh and clean and importantly less overwhelming. So whatever page you're on, it's usually pretty clear what you're supposed to click, what you're supposed to do, and why that page is actually useful. So aside from the more user-facing design, let's talk about some of the design principles that actually differentiate these two. So the big one is that Adio has centered their product around what they call a flexible data model. And all they mean by that is that when you come into Adio, you can customize things like objects and fields, tables and views really, really easily. And so it is much more, again, like a database or a spreadsheet like Airtable where you can come in and make it your own as opposed to a one-size-fits-all CRM, which is more what HubSpot offers. Not to say that HubSpot doesn't let you have things like custom objects and custom fields, but when you open up HubSpot between two different companies, more or less it's gonna look the same. Whereas Adio, you could actually have that looking very different depending on how you customize it to your needs. So for people that want to customize their sales workflow, Adio can be really, really powerful. Now let's talk about reporting. So similar to that flexible data model we talked about, HubSpot and Adio take different approaches to their reports. So HubSpot really tries to make it easy to get started with out of the box templates. There's a little wizard and workflow you can click through that will guide you to a report that more or less looks like something you'd expect for a sales team. Adio, on the other hand, designed their reporting to be much more about customization. So when you go to their reports feature, you'll start to see ways that you can quickly add and drag and drop different metrics and different fields the way that you want it customized. It's not quite as convenient or easy to get started, but it gives you this really great flexibility to make it exactly what you want. 
Another interesting difference between HubSpot and Adio is their pricing. What's funny here is that HubSpot and Adio actually both cater towards startups. So they have free tiers, they have fairly low price tiers. Um, unlike Salesforce, it doesn't immediately get extremely expensive. But the difference here is kind of how they approach pricing, again, as an incumbent versus a startup. So HubSpot has a somewhat opaque pricing structure. They do have a public pricing page that in theory should be simple, but they have tons of upgrades and options and different products. And it actually makes it fairly hard to know exactly what you're going to pay at a given time and what you might be paying a year from now as you use different features. Adio, on the other hand, has this modern pricing approach that you see with a lot of PLG companies where you can just sign up for their price online. It's super clear exactly what you're going to get and how it scales. So when you actually compare pricing apples to apples, the price, at least in the beginning, is pretty similar. I wouldn't say that's really the difference maker. But what's nice about Adio, again, is that it's just clean, easy. It makes sense. You're not wondering what will this be a year from now. So far, we've talked about a lot of differences. And in some ways, Adio might be coming out on top. But here, I want to start to get into some of the things where HubSpot really, really shines. So the first is integrations and what HubSpot calls their app marketplace. So this is where you can go to add an app and integration with something in HubSpot. And HubSpot's app marketplace has over 1,600 different apps. So you can find pretty much whatever you need to power up your HubSpot CRM. Adio, on the other hand, is just getting started building out its integration library. Today, they have exactly 16 integrations, um, and they are launching more every month. But as of today, it is about one one hundredth the size of HubSpot, so you can't really compare. Now, a lot of really cool, interesting startups are starting to build on Adio, and I expect this to grow over time. But yeah, today, HubSpot is the clear winner in the integrations. Finally, I want to wrap up by talking about something a little more general, which is the concept of feature breadth. So it's not obvious necessarily as you open up HubSpot for the first time or open up Adio, but what is clear is that HubSpot, having been around for so much longer, just has all the features that you would expect a CRM to build over a decade. And so Adio doesn't quite have that level of detail. Again, basic CRM stuff, Adio really does have it all, notes, tasks, companies, records, uh, automations, right? Uh, but if you really are more of a power user or a bigger company, you'll probably run into the limits of their features at some point. The flip side of that though, is that HubSpot is a large public company. They are not really changing the product much, whereas Adio is shipping brand new updates every month. And so the rate of improvement for Adio is just tremendously high. So ultimately, who is HubSpot better for? HubSpot is great for people that don't really want to think about their CRM and just care about the bread and butter stuff working. Also, if you're a larger company with more advanced needs, you're going to want those advanced features and just the feature breadth that HubSpot can offer. Who is Adio for? So Adio is the CRM for more of the early adopter type, that person that loves to use the best in class, the modern tool, even if it has some limitations. And so over time, I expect Adio to plug all the holes that it has in terms of feature limitations and probably compete with HubSpot head on. Um, but at least today, you would choose Adio if you want a more delightful CRM, certainly a more flexible CRM that you can customize to your needs and care more about this being something that is not clunky uh, and helps you do your job as efficiently as possible. But ultimately, whether you choose HubSpot or Adio or another CRM like Salesforce, you might want to check out WhaleSync. We are a customer data integration platform. We help you sync data in your CRM with other tools. So check us out.